Task Force 77, part of the 7th Fleet of the United States Navy, was primarily designated as an aircraft carrier strike force during World War II. Its role in the Pacific theater was crucial and multifaceted. One of the pivotal moments for Task Force 77 came with its involvement in the Battle of Guam in 1944. The island had been occupied by Japanese forces since 1941, and its liberation was seen as a critical step in the island hopping campaign devised by the Allied forces. Task Force 77's aircraft carriers launched constant air assaults, hitting Japanese positions on the ground. They played an integral role in softening enemy defenses, paving the way for the Marine and Army infantry's land assault. The victory at Guam marked a turning point, providing the Allies with a strategic base for further operations against the Japanese home islands. Task Force 77's involvement in the Pacific War was not limited to Guam. The Battle of Leyte Gulf in October 1944 was one of its most significant engagements. This battle, part of the Allied invasion of the Philippines, aimed to cut off Japanese oil supplies and cripple their naval forces. Task Force 77's carriers played a vital role in this complex battle, consisting of several naval engagements spread over several days. Its aircraft attacked Japanese ships, provided air cover for American surface vessels, and conducted surveillance and reconnaissance missions. After the successful engagement at Leyte Gulf, Task Force 77 continued to play a central role in the push towards the Japanese mainland. The task force's aircraft took part in bombings against industrial targets, shipping, airfields, and other military objectives in Japan. These missions, often conducted under challenging weather conditions and heavy anti-aircraft fire, helped weaken Japan's war fighting capabilities. Task Force 77 was not only involved in combat missions but also participated in humanitarian efforts. Following the war, the task force's carriers and support vessels took part in Operation Magic Carpet, the massive undertaking to repatriate American military personnel from various parts of the Pacific. The task force's involvement in these diverse operations illustrates the flexibility and adaptability of naval air power during this time. Task Force 77 was not a static entity, it evolved in response to the changing needs of the war. Its composition shifted as new ships were added, others were repaired or retired, and tactics were continuously refined to meet new challenges. The history of Task Force 77 in the 1940s is a multifaceted tale of military strategy, technological innovation, human endurance, and tactical brilliance. Its actions in Guam, Leyte Gulf, and against the Japanese mainland are not just isolated incidents but parts of a broader strategy that ultimately contributed to the Allied victory in the Pacific. Through relentless effort, expertise, strategic deployment, and the ability to adapt, Task Force 77 left a lasting impact on naval warfare and military history. The lessons learned from its operations continue to influence modern naval doctrine and stand as a testament to the effectiveness and versatility of naval air power.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.